Hi everybody. Um, I promised I'd give you an update about the Christchurch earthquake and what's happening in New Zealand. Well, our Prime Minister yesterday declared the country as being in a state of emergency. And it certainly is. What's happening now in Christchurch is extremely serious. It's a real tragedy. The death toll is going up all the time. There are at least um, 300 people over 300 people still missing and um, the schools are closed till further notice, the business district is closed till further notice, um, many people are without power, the whole water system has been completely broken and disrupted and most people have no water at all, um, the roads are in trouble in most of in many areas and getting from one side of Christchurch to another is taking hours and hours and hours so <clears throat> people are getting dehydrated they can't get the water that they need it's taking so long um, as I said people without power the sewage in the streets it's they're saying now it's probably going to take maybe weeks maybe even months with people not having sewage water all these um, services Many people are homeless, their houses have just disappeared into the rubble or walls have come down. I haven't heard of anybody who hasn't had some kind of damage this time round. That last earthquake in September is nothing compared to this. This one has really hit people. Um, we're a small country, so everybody kind of knows each other here. Um, we're deeply connected. So the whole country is really um, reeling in, in, in shock here. Um, the hospitals are absolutely stretched beyond capacity. Uh, most of them haven't got even power or water, or they're running on generator backup power. And seriously sick people are having to be shipped out to Wellington and Auckland. And of course, that's very difficult for those people and the families of those people. Some of the old people are suffering greatly. Uh, they've been, they're being displaced and they're, they're just having to be moved. So this is, it's a very, very traumatic, difficult time. And what's worse is that the aftershocks are still coming and they're really strong aftershocks. They're coming every half hour, every 40 minutes, really strong aftershocks. People just don't feel safe anywhere. There's this feeling of um, what's going to happen next. There's another, there's a big hotel in the centre of Christchurch now that looks like that might fall over. It's about 20 odd floors and that's just adding to more of the danger and also making it much more difficult for the rescue effort that's going on. So um, please, if you can, <clears throat> The people of Christchurch, people of New Zealand greatly need your help right now. And if you are able to donate some money, uh, the Salvation Army or the Red Cross are the two main websites. They have earthquake appeals. If you are able to donate, boy, um, we really need it right now and would greatly appreciate it. Um, in the meantime, I want to thank so many of you who have written to me, who've sent messages, comments, emails, whatever it is, I want you to know that your thoughts and your prayers mean a great deal to me at this time. And um, it's giving us the strength to continue and to carry on. Thank you all of you again, and I will try to keep you updated best I can. Bye for now.